What's going on? Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. I'm Bethany. And this is Stray. Yeah. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Wow. What? The weekend. Yeah, it is the weekend. Didn't feel like the weekend yet, but now it's starting to feel like it. <laughs> Nightwalker, Vivi, what's going on? Uh, Nightwalker, we will have to figure out which journals we have, or notebooks we have uh, when we start up the game to figure out, I guess, where the other uh, ones, with the, I think we're just missing one. I know, I know that. Yeah. I think it was down to one. I think we got four out of five, if I remember correctly. Or three out of four, whichever one, whatever the you know, number is. Yeah. Super Hodges, that null, what's going on? And welcome back, Super Hodges. Yeah, it has been a while. Welcome back. Hey, right, well, Bucky, yeah. See, your mom plays this game, so it's weird. <laughs> Give me over here. Okay. We will figure out the names of the books. I'm sure there's somewhere that I can I can go through my inventory. Yeah. It's been a week since we played it, so I've, of course, forgotten everything. But, yeah. <laughs> we'll get it back. Yeah, you just pretty much, like, jump, you know. Oh, okay. The cat. I know, Bucky. He's Whoa. been growling at the cat ever since we started, really like, booted this up. Muffin, your day is insane. Oh, damn. Did the baby deer make it? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, probably not. It was, yeah. I, I gotta ask. Okay. The inventory. Oh, okay. I just gotta remember how to get to the inventory. I'll figure it out. Yeah. This is what happens when I don't play a game for a week, though. I do forget everything. I know. It's fine. That'd be, you know, I mean... Probably would have played it sooner if it was straight and it was a dog yeah, versus a cat. For sure. So. Bethany's not as anti-cat as I am. But cats, she's allergic to cats. I was going to say, cats just could kill me. That's, that's the only thing. Yeah, exactly. Blue, what's going on? Hey, Welcome. Blue. Thunder, Thunder Wolf. Wolf. Jinx. Yeah. Oh, it's like it was missing, but it managed to escape. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. That poor baby deer. For some reason, though, I already said something, couldn't chat anymore. I was still signed in, but apparently wasn't signed in. So you just, I, I don't know, Vivi. You're breaking rules somehow. <laughs> Eduardo, welcome to your first stream. Hey, greetings to Mexico. You can stop growling at the cat. He's not really in the house. Oh, damn, Blue. 26 boarding and nine more coming tomorrow. Wow. Uh, Foxy and Bucky have uh, some boarding tomorrow, and Bucky's got his training. They got their, like, their daycare. Daycare, so it's not, it's yeah. It's not like the boarding boarding, but yeah, it's yeah, daycare. Yeah. Daycare. So they're there for, for a few hours. Uh, Bucky's got a couple more training left, and then we're going to see if he can get into the general population. He's got to pass the test to make sure that he's, he plays nice. Yeah. His whole thing is just being uh, afraid and just having enough confidence. Yeah, that's just it, like... Around the house, he's got confidence, so he'll play with Foxy, and he plays pretty rough. Mm -hmm. But like at the doggy daycare, he kind of stands off to the side and just watches, like not sure how to interact with other dogs. Yeah. Davian, what's going on? Dog named Ronky. He's such a sweetheart. He's behind the desk at work. Okay. Oh, nice. Hey. Silver linings, BB. All right. You don't have a password sheet. Did you have a password sheet before you met me? No. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Training for Tekken 8. Oh, good luck tomorrow. Sweet. And yes, we do like Five Nights at Freddy's. We, we hope to play uh, Security Breach, right? Mm -hmm. um, eventually, and we enjoyed the movie, and we've, I mean, our mind's been blown on the lore videos we've checked yeah. out, so yeah. And Thunderwolf, I'd do the Batmobile. Just classic. That's definitely the one I go for. Big babies. Aw. Hmm. Launched himself on the desk. Oh my god. Oh my Sounds like it was an eventful day at work. Oh see, Vivi does have a password sheet, but she's just updated it. Okay. <laughs> ah, so you need a map for your password sheet. That's <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt. Yep. 
Yes. Uh, we are going to get a new reaction for the, the killer, the DVD killer, this Monday. It's coming out. Woohoo! Yeah! Uh, I hope Bucky hasn't adopted our personality. <laughs> I love him. He's great, but, you know, he's just... He's, he's very high-strung. So, um, I mean, I don't think so. I'm trying to think. Zoe and Abby didn't really adopt our personality either. No, like, I think, I think they adopt our habits and like, like Foxy's such a good girl. She really tries to make herself amenable to our routines and our habits and just being there with us. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's no way that that's dictated by our personalities, like her, her absorbing them because She's six going on seven. So her personality was pretty well established before she got here. Um, and Bucky, love him. He's just crazy and very high strung and constantly anxious. So mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to hope that that's neither one of us. No, Blue, you must wait. <laughs> Vivi, I'm curious about the game now for the ultimate attacks. Uh, Alan. Tired. Oh, it's all right. It's had to carry a table for eight people. Damn. Yeah. That would be tiring. Well, you know, it's it's all right if you can uh, just stop by to say hi and you got to get some sleep. And, oh, know, for sure. No, no worries. Take care of yourself. That's number one. Oh, nice. Let us know how it is, uh, Chris. And thanks, Nightwalker, for uh, posting the video and photo in Discord. We will check that out. Good luck, Davian. I can tell you liked uh, Batman Thunderwolf. Is that how you guys came, first came to our channel? Was through one of our maybe Batman streams or Batman videos? Uh oh, we're gonna have a talk. I'm in trouble with Blue. When are you not in trouble with Blue? I know, this is true. <laughs> uh, favorite FNAF animatronic? Oof. I don't know. I mean, it might be Chica now that she's got the, like the cupcake and the cupcake. I was gonna say, is... part of me wants to say the cupcake. <laughs> yeah, just the cupcake <laughs> itself. Um, but and there's other ones like I have Foxy Pirate, um, Spring Trap. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't. We have to play the game first. Yeah. 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 For sure. Oh, happy birthday, Blue! Sorry, happy belated. Happy belated birthday! I hope you did something amazing to celebrate you, because you should have. Yeah. And you should continue celebrating all weekend. Ah, uh, Justice Series, that makes sense. I saw Mandava's here, so hello. How's it going? Mangle. All right, let's do, uh. Whatchamacallit? Rules. I mean, I feel like you should do rules since I'm okay. in the remote. All right, so first rule is D bad. Uh, it's, it's short for don't be a dick. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so not just, you know, don't be dick to, to everybody. Everybody here, be nice, all right? To our mods, to us, to, to each other. And the second rule is that there are no spoilers, not just for this game, um, but for life in general. No, um, for <laughs> other like popular movies and TVs that, have, that are out right now. Um, three, no backseat gaming. Uh, we will ask for help if we need it. Um, we might. Wait a little while, it might be painful. Like Nightwalker was kind enough to look up. We got stuck at a point right now in Stray and uh, Nightwalker is gonna help us out uh, there. Um, and the fourth rule is, oh, um, we're all here to hang out and relax and have fun. We know there's a lot going on in the world, but uh, yeah, just don't bring that noise here. Okay, All right. those are the rules. I do not act like I'm a pro gamer. Beetle Thanks, Jesus. Alan. September 6th. Oh. I did see a still that they released from it, and I was encouraged. Ruthus 16 just whooped your ass. Okay. Um, gotta figure out how to get back into my inventory. There we go. Yep, now I can sum it up very well. <laughs> Grandma, oh, it's just, that's... Okay. 
I, I didn't need to trade it in for that. Thank you. Um, how do I get back into my... Nope, not that way. No. It wasn't... Nope, wasn't that. I'm not sure how far we are. It's gonna take us like uh, an hour just to figure out the inventory. There we go. There we go. Okay. Momo's notebook. Okay. Sheet music. More sheet music. Poncho. Wait, we only got one? We got one of four? What? Did it not save after we got the others? Because we definitely got more than one last time. No, because I got a poncho. Yeah, I swear we had more as well. I mean, it saved our poncho, so I don't understand why I didn't save the other stuff. Okay. That's weird. See? Fucking cats. Screw you over. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Momo took it out of our inventory? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we got the one in the safe. We got the one um, in the room, right, that you dropped down? Yep, drop down room. We got, there's one. Oh, no. We got the one in that room over there across the way with the, like, lantern that's right there. Okay. Um, the one that we thought was indicative of another one that we didn't get was see where there's that caged blue square up there. Yeah, we don't know if that's where we're we supposed to be We don't know if that's where not. the last one is, but that's like the only one where we didn't get a corresponding notebook. Yeah. No human language gibberish. Yes, it's nice that so far Bucky has not barked at the cat, killing everyone's ears. He's growled a couple times, so, mm. you know, it could happen, people. It could happen. Uh, I have not played Plants vs. Zombies. Okay. What did he say? Uh, that they love throwing buckets at each other, but their dancer okay. neighbor doesn't like it, so they've taken a break right now. Okay. He looks so sad. I mean, chances are, there are, mo there are a lot of games we haven't played. So chances are, if you ask if we played a game, we probably have. Okay. All right, Nightwalker, I see that you said that you have the thing pulled up. So... Uh, Rainbow Boy, yes, his name is Bucky Barks. That is his full name. So, it was from Bucky from the from the Marvel movies. It just fit him, he just, I don't know. We were gonna go with Gizmo at first, because he was kind of a singer and like a talker. Uh, but then, yeah. We went with Bucky. Gizmo just kind of didn't fit him. And, you know, Bucky works, because he, he like gets taken over and has fits of rage, so. Especially when he's mm. hungry. They did, but they refused to cut his leg off and place it with a metal one. Yes. We did refuse to do that. That is that is true. We did. There's one in boxes and the one you drop down through a fan. There's one hidden behind books in a safe. Yeah, we I think got we got the, those two. We got the yeah, those two we got. Is that Super Chan? I hope I'm saying that right. And hello. Welcome. Part of the cookie crew. The best crew. All right, I'm gonna take a nap until I know where to go. <laughs> it's the most intense adrenaline pumping stream ever. Aw. He's purring. Yeah. You can just you can walk around. We can find it. Maybe I should like stargaze with this guy. 
Uh, I'm not sure when more Fortnite is is uh, is coming up. One of you is Docs, the one filled with books. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we did that one. Yeah, we did that one. You did that one? Okay. Yeah. You can hit the tea room up. I'm gonna go over there just to be safe, but I'm pretty sure we did this one. Yeah, yeah that's this, a safe yeah. one. Yes, we have fallen a bit behind on Fortnite for sure. You can say you know, you can say suppy. Pronounce however you want. <laughs> we're enjoying it. It's pretty chill. It was we were going pretty chugging along pretty fast until this this part right now. Then we just got a little bit turned around. Hmm. Yeah, we'll talk to that guy. Look for the symbol painted on a wall next to a window. On a wall next to a window. Angry computer man. Do you see his little face? Mm -hmm. He looks so angry. Alright. On a wall next to a window. Let's see what going on. Not a lot of windows in this area. To the window, to the walls. <laughs> Kevin Bacon is returning to the high school that was in Footloose for prom from the students of the school. Oh, that's cool. He's just going back just to like hang out? He says you look past it, it has a lantern next to the window. Oh wait, is that that one? Yeah. That's the one that we got. We got that one. That one we got, okay. That was I'm the sure. first one. That was the first one, yeah. okay. Phoebe says check it anyways. All right. Just because we, I mean, it's, it says we don't have our whatever. It says we only have one, so might as well. This is, this is true. This will tell us if it's because we gave the books to that guy or if it just yeah. discounted our books entirely. Which would be sad times. Ah! So that was a good question. I know y'all explored the boxes room, but did you actually collect the book? God, I really hope so now. I'm a cat, therefore I must be a dick. <clears throat> yeah, that, I'm pretty sure the book was right up here. Okay. I got it, I think. Let's go to that room where you dropped down. Because now I don't know if we did get a book there. I'm going to set those right. Because we went in here, that's, that should be two. We went in, got the one with the safe, that's three. If there's a fourth one, then that's the one we, did, we didn't get the one with the boxes. So we gotta go up to that fan again. Yep, so we must have not picked it up. We were in the room and we didn't get it. Hey, 27, what's going on? Hey, 27. And I have never, well, I have used a metal detector on a beach at one point. It wasn't mine, it was a friend's. Um, and we didn't find anything. Ivory, what's going on? Do people really find stuff when they take metal detectors around? Yeah, my uncle one time. Really? No. I was like, I, was like, I never hear you talk about extended family, so I was double surprised. 
Okay. Ah. All right, now I know where I am. Professor T! Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh. Oh, we gotta take the thing. Oh, yeah, this is when it glitched out, remember? All right, so there we go. Can I pick you up? Nope. You're a clay pot. No, it's in the, it's around there. You pull that out. That's right. Nope, nope, stop. Because we definitely pulled that thing out last time. We did, and then when we came down in the room, it glitched, and it was yep. like... Okay, are you actually on the bed now, or are you still floating in the air? Okay. Alright, well, it's not letting me pick it up, so whatever. Okay. So we start wrecking shit. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with the cat, right? Yeah. Cats are dicks. <laughs> so it should be in the box. Near the sofa. Oh, there we go. Uh, you know, we've been doing um, South Park, which our uh, reaction for the cutscenes is coming out this Sunday, and then our full gameplay for South Park, The Stick of Truth, will come out uh, a week from this Sunday. And then we just kind of went on to um, Fractured Butthole. Yeah, we did. Just trying to get the get the time to be able to play both games. Spontaneous bootay, yeah, we actually just played that part. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> hey, Jedi Knight Ryan! What's going on? Alright, it's so time to go back to normal, right? Oh, here you go. Good luck with that last part. Hmm. A different way to go. Yeah, don't mind me while it's more. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Mo Mo. In a hypothetical world where Bethany wasn't allergic, what would you name your kitty? Hmm. Uh, Thunderwolf, no, we can't, like, control, I mean, uh, we can't give, like, the mods access to the emotes. It's, like, not under our control. We can't even get any, give anyone, like, a free membership. Um, so, yeah. Okay, wait a second. Where was this guy's window again? Because I remember he was up here somewhere. Because I remember having to get up to the robots to get to him. But he was across from that way, so then is he... He's up more. Cause it was the bucket. Where's the where's the bucket? 
You took the bucket down as soon as you left this place. So that's where the bucket is, right? Okay, oh, so he's like, yeah, so he looked across. So he's up there. He's up above. He's right like, oh, there in that, it is. Okay. that area. Yeah, yeah. Now that's familiar. Oh, there you go. Suppy just uh, gifted out some memberships. And look who got oh, it. Oh, wow. Thank you. Wait, did Nightwalker finally get it? I thought he did, but no. Why can't I jump on these boxes? What's wrong with these boxes? <laughs> Nightwalker. I can jump everywhere else, but not these boxes. And just so you know, those that got that uh get gifted memberships, it's um it won't like automatically renew, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh and yeah. Thanks for uh thanks for giving those out, Suppy. I know it's your notebook. That's where I brought. Wait, we're here to give it to you. Take your super notebook. It still says we only have one of four, but okay, two of four. Wait a minute. So it didn't save it that we uh, the other ones. Okay, we did find it. Okay. We just have to figure out what we would name our hypothetical cat. Okay. Hey, Venom, thanks so much. The nice and the cheers, yeah. Forcing the world of shameless big titty anime. I would name our hypothetical cat Nick Furry. Holy crap! Whoa! Mustavo! Oh, Nightwalker finally got one! Mustavo is not playing around. He's like, screw this! Nightwalker's oh, getting a membership. God. Wow! First time he shows up, comes into the live stream, and drops drops the hammer. Damn, nice. Wow. That's awesome. There was no choice for Nightwalker, I know, right? How does that even work? Because like when people, if people just join the chat, are they gonna be automatically gifted a membership now? All right. So we got everyone into the, into the kooky crew. Welcome everyone. Welcome. Very top of tower. Oh my gosh, just the whole, just the chat just goes on. It's like Twitch, it chooses recent viewers, okay. okay. Nightwalker is now an official boot wrench. There are 12 chapters in Stray. You're in chapter five, about to go into six. Okay. Thanks, Nightwalker. Although, Nightwalker, how come you still don't have like a green? Uh, your name isn't highlighted in green. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot how to, how to run. I forgot how to run. I must run faster. No, 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 no. Get off me. You just killed the cat. I did. How do I run again? Shit, I gotta figure this out. Ooh, Def Jam fight for New York. You can tell yeah. he's a member because he has a little drink by him. I know, I know he's a member, but it's weird that he doesn't have the... Oh, okay, I guess all mods are blue. Yeah, well, that makes sense now. I'm an idiot. Yeah, um, oh, growth of Vegeta from Namek to the end of Z. I mean, I love seeing it. I mean, I just think about when we first met him when he was trying to kill uh, Kakarot. He's come very far. 
Because we didn't like him right away. It's not like we were always love always love Vegeta. What happened to the I know. BP came in and uh first stream just gifted out 50 memberships. Like a boss. Like a boss. Yeah, Thunderwolf. So, uh depending on how long you are um a uh member, you will get upgraded different drinks. So, starts off with a shot glass, then you get a beer, then you get wine. Hello, FNAF lover. Yeah, now Walker, if they did skip you after that, then that would be... Someone would have been wrong. I mean, clearly the last time you didn't get anything because of the whole brand account. You figured that out. But, um, or you figured that out, I should say. Uh, so, if someone else was up, then, I don't know. Account was like, shadow banned from memberships. YouTube is a cruel mistress. trying to roll it? Yeah, so I'm trying to roll it to over here to this pole thing. Okay. Because I'm thinking that that's where I need to go, but... Well, can you just hop on it and then not hit... And, like, walk on it? Yeah. It wasn't letting me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, get in it! Oh, that's right. This is how I did this last time. I got in it. That's... Yep. Thanks, bud. Yeah, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Wait a minute, do they still have that rule? I know it used to be, like, well, I thought that was a while ago, unless what? they changed it back. Well, when my brothers were growing up, well, some of my brothers, um, like, it was 18 to drink in Wisconsin. Oh, so they'd yeah. go up to Wisconsin to get beer. When I was in high school, it was 21. Yeah, and that's the, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's, nationwide standard now. Yeah. I don't think there's any state that you can drink under 21 now. Yes, FNAF lover. It's a great username. Glendale, California. Another Cali in the in the chat. It was always twenty-one. I feel like I should be able to jump out of that building, but it does not want to let me jump out of that building. And this is a problem. What building trying to get in? Oh, what's that? That's to open this door. Oh, okay. So see this little, like, hut over here? Yeah. I feel like I should be able to jump on it. But it does not want to let me jump on it. Like, this cat has done some amazing jumps. I should be able to jump from here then. I know what you want me to do. It wants me to get in that barrel. But... We'll let those guys in here. And then lock them in, right? On this side? Some pretty gross sounds. Mm -hmm. It's trying to kill us. Man, how far back do we have to go now? 
Maryland, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. 18 years for beer and wine, 21 for liquor. What? Still now? Really? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they are very disgusting blue, for sure. Jesse, hello. Ethan, what's going on? It's our favorite soda pop or soda to drink. Uh, root beer. Yeah, it's been consistently my favorite my whole life, and then I also like Coca Cola and Dr Pepper. Yeah. Back when I did drink a lot of uh, soda, it was Sprite. as well. I tried to like, it wasn't like healthier, but it was like, oh, it won't stain my teeth as much as other soda. So I switched to Sprite and then ditch that. And now we drink more, uh, just soda water. Cause I still need carbonation when I'm eating something. Like, I don't know what it is. It just washes it down really well. Then just like plain boring ass water. Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're drinking ass water. <laughs> ass water? That's what you said, and just plain boring, and then you're like, ass water, which I knew it was like the common thread through that, but there's a slight delay, yeah. so. Boring yeah. ass water instead of boring ass water. Okay, <laughs> I get it. This does not look like a fun place to be. There's creepy little things around. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, death. Yeah, ass water, booty sweat, exactly. Ooh, Coke Zero is your go-to. Baja Blasted. Oh, Orange Crush, that's what we always drank at the like pool in the summertime when I was a little kid. It's all about the Orange Crush. No, I think, uh, Phoebe, you posted that in the Discord, right? The 1943 Rise of Hydra trailer. So I need to check that out. Oh, you guys can get me up here? That's some bullshit. Oof. All right, I'm about to hand it to you. Give it one more time. Yes, Mexican Cokes. Agreed. Far superior product. Uh, one of our favorite root beers was uh, Goose Island root beer in uh, Chicago. Ah, oh, stupid allergies. I have a sneeze that's stuck in my nose. <laughs> trying to get to. Well, I'm at the top of the tower, and so somewhere over here I have to put a transceiver. Fuck off, please. How'd you run? Uh, R2. Allergies you suck this year, people? Yes, they do. I have a sneeze, and it's trapped in my nose. What? Which one of these creepy things get hops? Good job, bud. Thanks. Just keep running, just keep running. Half this thing. 
And that's the open door, which... I mean, I guess you have to get to the other side then, yeah. Shit. No, get up, get up, must get up, must get up. trying to develop a bacteria oh, so well. Zerks, that's the hell those things are called. Okay. That one guy, that does suck. That your butts left early. That definitely bites. Um, Ethan, right. yes, I can see your message. Who's, who's butt left early? Bus, baby, bus, not their butt. I'm like, someone's butts left early? I mean, I First hope... of all, they got, they've got two butts. I hope their butts. And then their butts are leaving early. I hope the butts still attach to the body. But no, that one guy, his uh, school bus left early today, so he had to wait for an hour to get a ride home. Oh shit! That sucks on Friday too, because like on Friday you're really ready to be done with school. Fuck me. Uh, Nightwalker, yeah. I mean, as long as it doesn't have any spoilers, since we're still kind of like in our Genshin journey of sorts, then always, always game to, uh, to hear fan theories and whatnot. Um, Ethan, the message that I saw was, can you see my message? So I, I like that you message us. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of them. There. I think I'm supposed to wait for this thing to come back down. Jeez. Bob and weave! Bob and weave! No! Oh, you little bastards. You got onto my little... No, I was so close! I was so close! Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh. oh, there's a fan theory about when you stop playing Genshin. The Traveler just fell asleep. All the characters would visit you every day until eventually Paimon is the only one left taking care of you. Oh. Paimon takes care of us. All right, where am I now? Okay. Where you just were, thankfully. <sighs> Okay, so when it fucking comes down, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think maybe jump on the box and then jump on top of it. Okay. Is my guess. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, Paimon would be sad. Paimon likes to interact with people.
Jedi Knight Ryan, um, we love game suggestions. We have a whole bunch in the community. We're always open to getting more. Um, but we're not taking any notes while we're doing the live stream because we're playing the games and everything. So the best place to do is to put it in Fuck our- Fuck all of you. It's to those things, not you guys. Um, is to put it in the Discord or to do I'm like- this, then you're doing it. In a comment on a, a YouTube video. That's usually where we collect the suggestions from. I mean, you're welcome to say it here too. We just might not remember it. Um, Jesse, I'm not sure how long it is. Uh, we were a bit stuck when we started tonight's stream. Um, we've gotten past that. And we're on chapter six of 12. So we're like about halfway through. I think it's gonna take us probably three games to complete. And this is the second stream. Last time, I was like, "This is it." Get off! Get off my well, elevator! Well, it takes most gamers six hours. It'll probably take us a little longer, so maybe it'll be four streams for us. <laughs> oh no, Duarte! I'm so sorry to hear about your cat. For a month, I hope he finds his way home. Why, why are you freaking out? There. To add to the scariness of it all. Receiver, put on. Good job, bud. Thanks. Hey, animosity. Um, Jedi, Vivi can probably drop the Discord link in the um, live stream for you, and that should that should help get it started for you. Thanks, Vivi. Um, blue, yes, terrifying. Mori was great. <laughs> Meant to be a shelter. <laughs> I feel like there should be a lore video for this game. <laughs> right? It's so weird. I'm sure there's plenty of lore videos on this. vibe too because I think it's 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 part of it is that like slow slower pace and eeriness of it all mm -hmm. That means you're still alive. Excellent. Take some equipment to the bar. Take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. Of course, Momo's at the bar. The code to open it is quite simple. It is. Oh, yeah, that's simple.
Where is this? What code for what? Ethan, do I know Mage? Is Mage a character in something that we've played? Um, I'm only asking just because I, I'm not putting the reference. I'm not like putting a face with a name. Um, I'm not sure if I should or not. So um, we all have our crushes, especially when we're young and everything feels awkward. <laughs> and hopefully, like the crush helps you get a more confidence. Okay. I was about to say, don't tell me yet expect me to remember that code. And where exactly is the bar? Oh no, Nightwalker, that's dark. Let's take a bar. Oh, you're fine. a girl in your middle school. Okay. Come on, go. What the hell is this? everywhere. Great. Okay. To the sewers. I, I can take you to the sewers. Sorry, I spilled the paint. Although technically it oh, wasn't me. Good night, Arbiter. And yeah, we are looking forward to getting back to Halo and stuff, so I don't know when, but that is definitely on our radar to get back to playing that. Like it. 
That's a good question, Dort. I don't know what the cat's name in the game is. I mean, he's he's just stray. Hmm. I think we talked about naming him last last year. I forget what we named him. Whoa. Oh my goodness, Gustavo! Oh, another 20 memberships? Wow! Thank you so much! Very kind of you. Yeah. Very generous. For those who are being gifted memberships, uh, if you did just join us, just so you know, it does not renew automatically. You won't be charged. This just gives you a chance to experience membership with us for a month. If you would like to renew, by all means, please do. But you're under no financial obligation by being gifted a membership. tell okay what will it tell that's the code time will tell oh damn how do i okay what's the time though the time will tell ah okay so one mm. is that four? two i think it's two. Oh, two, four. Then one. Is that two, four, one, two? Okay. Your eyes are definitely better. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. You're seeing one number off. Yeah, we can name the cat, Sam. Name the cat Steve. <laughs> for the for the Captain America. I like I like that. Like we already have a Bucky. Yeah. yeah. Phoebe says cats are the devil. I'm with Phoebe. Phoebe and I are on the same page here. So we'll call it Lucifer. Loki's always a good name for a cat. Loki's a great name for a cat. Because Loki, too, can be a dick. Yeah. Okay. So that would be the name of our Kill cat. Some Zerk. To the question from like an hour ago. <laughs> that would be the name if we had a hypothetical cat, it would be Loki. Okay, just push it all the way off. <laughs> that was half ass shit. Yeah, Jedi Knight, me too. Although, that doesn't React to the intense happen light. with all cats. There's like the rare cat that I can interact with and not have an issue, but most cats cause an allergic reaction and it could be so bad that I could stop breathing. So this is why we don't have cats. Ooh, okay. Reverse the tracker. Oh, I hope you find your dad. Okay. I just wanted to knock some more of your shit off. <laughs> I am a cat after all. Hey, where, where are we going? 
Gotta find someone in the slums, okay. Will we encounter bats? I don't know if bats exist in this world. I mean, I think we pretty much just seen Zerks and our cat. Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. Hmm. Bottom one. I mean. Felix. Hi. Okay, that's awesome. But do you know what how to fix this? <laughs> I realize you're having an existential crisis, but can you pause that just to focus for a minute on helping me and my issue? Exactly. <laughs> this is grandma's. I don't want grandma's. I want. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> remember that? Okay. Oh, thanks, Pog. Hey, I just went in a big circle. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Malik, happy Look, Friday. Okay, so it says Elliot Programming. So I knew I wanted to go to Elliot, but it's this way. I'm gonna keep down here, and this guy was no help. Because he's a loser. To be fair, I don't care about your problems. Help me is a very cat like response. <laughs> Elliot Programming, okay, so it's gotta be so it's somewhere around here. That's a great way to get a name. All right. First thing that comes to mind, I love it. Look, dude, tell me where it is. Like bend things? Yeah, I'm gonna get an energy drink. <laughs> okay. I can trade these things. The robots live on energy drink? But seriously, where is this fucking place? What are we looking for? Uh, Elliot's. Let me in. The guardian said it was not the Zerks. I'm looking for Elliot's place. Elliot programming. And when I go this way, what's it's in here? Is grandma's in here. We're sure it's on the ground floor? No, we're not sure. I like programming, okay. I'm knock on the door and wait for us to open. Now I wait. music.
Alright, I'm going where the party's at. Party! Woohoo! Hey, I'm just gonna wreck shit. Cause I'm a cat. Nice to meet you. Love me, pet me. Hope you're not allergic. Cause I'm rubbing all over your face. <laughs> oh, you're working on this? I think he was rubbing his face back on you. Listen to that? I thought the song sucked. It's kind of shaky for a robot. Oh, ah, well, you're in luck. Because I have a poncho. Tapestry. Oh. Okay. It's a shade. Nice. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Wake up. Pretty cool. But I am not nice. I'm a cat. <laughs> okay. What's going on here? We're talking about birds? I think birds are attacking people. Ooh, fire ants, Jedi Knight, damn. What about fire ants? Mississippi and uh, touring the Vicksburg battlefield. Feet swarmed. Damn. Oh, that sounds miserable. That one guy picking number one through three? Uh, three. What did I, what did I win? Where am I supposed to go now, by the way? What am I supposed to do? Uh, I think we're going back to the, what's gonna call it? The dude, Seamus. Seamus. Is that the guy that's up in the window by the, whatchamacallit? No, that's Momo. Here, I think I can get to him. Okay. I'm gonna get to him real quick and then. All right, where, where were we? Yeah, well, he's at the bar. That's Momo. Yeah, you don't know it. <laughs> Is that a new game console? And that's where we were. So then he is over here.
What's up, dude? Yeah, we totally fixed it. Attack by Pearl making my dinner. Oh, congrats on pack passing the last part of Halo Com uh, Combat Evolved. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Do you, do you ever see that uh, video? It went viral like a, a couple years ago, I want to say, of the cat like jumping from like a burning building and some firefighters like uh, caught it on tape and like yeah. jumped out of the building, landed on its feet, walked away. That's fine. I picked the most chunky cat. Yes, nice. Fat bottom cats make the rockin' world go round. <laughs> yes, Hugo, we played Halo 2. We played Halo 1 and 2 and 3 on the channel um, as live streams. And yeah, man, Halo Combat Evolved, like that last part, it took us forever. And it was like towards the end of the stream, but we really wanted to finish it. We didn't want to like end the stream like that being the last part. So we did it over and over and over again. And man, we, we finally got it. So rewarding. <laughs> Hola, Juju. Oh, damn, someone's just arrested for killing a bunch of protected birds and selling the feathers and such on the black market. Yeah, we gotta we gotta play some more Halo games for sure. Juju, hola, what's up? Welcome. Wow, like 2 a.m. back in BFA, I was at the board dock, and my bestie texted me, "Do ants bite?" I said, "Yes, what the fuck are you doing at 2 a.m. around ants? <laughs> Just sitting in bed? What? Oh, ants in her bed? Okay." I had a dream once that there were ants in my bed, and that was, that sucked. But it was a dream, thankfully. I thought she like had ants in her bed, and she's like, do ants bite? No? Okay, then I'll just leave them in my bed. <laughs> that's like, that's what I imagined that, that, got, that was happening. That would be a, a very, very chill individual. Hugo, I don't know how many times we died in that, com uh, that last part. It was a lot though. Yuan, hi. Miranda. I need to finish a few more Halo games complete and then you'll be all done, yeah. Uh, I do not know Jeff Buckley. Oh, we gained an outsider badge. Who befriended a bunch of crows and trained them to pick up money and they ended up stealing like thousands of dollars from random people? Is that real? That's insane. And also genius. A mod streamer stream where we play multiplayer free for all in Halo. Oh, we're we, so gonna die. Yeah, let's say we would just get, I'd just be like beating us up and getting wrecked. Ooh, Vivi already talking shit. She's saying she would destroy us. Yeah, she, she said, would. wouldn't be fair. You need to f uh, five versus one her. I have not seen the Penguin trailer. Okay. Oh. Alright, well. Yeah, but Nightwalker, she's saying that it, it, we wouldn't have enough people to even beat her because we need five. Now that could be fun. A uh, custom game where the job is that like one person it has to protect is like, I guess I mean we pretty much be on teams, but one person is protecting us and the other one is like one of us. So we each get a protector. Okay, but in the last one. Okay. We have to run through that little hole. Yep. Got it. Nice.
Well, you can, um, can you not, like, if someone's on a PS4, can you, you not play with them if you're on a PS5? I don't think they'd be, like, they'd be able to cross-platform at least that way. It means the same platform. Hmm. Depends on the Halo 3, you're not beating 4, you wouldn't even stand a chance. Damn. Is this a VV smack talk? Yeah. Okay. Oh, one team, yeah, just put you the other team trying to get you. Okay. I don't have any jerks now. So what is this? We're doing a we're doing an online game? Uh it's just a, a, a something Nightwalker's pitching. Okay. Oh, back into the Zerks. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Halo is only on the Xbox. Oh my god. That's why. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, it was a huge fall. Oh, it's PC too? For Halo? Dress up as cats for next stream. Ants in your bed, which you do not have, thank goodness. Well, I don't think animal control will be able to, it will do much if you call them ants in your bed. They'll be like, uh, buy a can of raid. Yep. We get ants in our house, uh, every, like, July. Make it super hot out and they come in, like, through the walls looking for water. And it sucks. Like we actually have put ant poison in the walls of our house each each summer to try and mitigate them coming in. But yeah, I mean it's in, same thing in LA. I mean we're like an hour north of LA and like uh, it's hotter where we are. But I remember like Mark would tell me that he would have ants in his apartment too. They were like, he's like, and I told him the yeah that trick of uh, taking out the the socket and putting it in there. Yep, it's great. That usually takes care of them. Which, remind me, we might need to get new poison for that this year. Because I think the poison that we have has gone bad. In Chicago, they would charge you extra rent. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of Zerks. Why? Do I have to go down there? Yeah, I don't like mm. it either, kitty. Yeah, raid works for... Uh, Ants, cockroaches, spiders. You can also get raids specific for like bees and wasps. Which we also have to do. Yep. Hanson, do you remember where I'm supposed to be going? Uh, no. I was right. I was just running away from Zerks, and now I... Are you, like, have you been here before? Yeah. But, like, only just recently, and then I just made one big circle. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. So then I came over here, came down here. Oh, Yuan, uh, please, no, no spoilers for, for the ending for this.
Can't get it. Hmm. You used to have a wasp B problems. Funny enough, when I stopped having B problems, the planet started having a B problem. Oh, yeah, sure. Totally unrelated. Oh, my God. oh free them! Why? Because they, they shouldn't be locked in a cage. They should be free to eat you. No. No, they should not. Who keeps those things as pets? I don't know. Why would they either freak? Yeah. Better go in the home of a mad scientist. Yeah, wasps are even more dicks because they can sing you over and over again. Cage training works. Cage training works. <laughs> Whoa! See? Mad scientist. He's got the hair and everything. Doc! Doc Brown! Yeah! He's been looking for you. No. Oh. Gang Beasts. Is that a fun online game? Or a multiplayer game, I should say? Bye, Juan. Bye. Have a good weekend. Oh, yeah, people that keep tarantulas as pets? No, no thanks. Kevin, we have not finished Dragon Ball. We're on uh, Dragon Ball Super right now. I've had a lot of requests for Attack on Titan for anime to check out. We have not played It Takes Two. I think, uh, downloaded it, it was on the PlayStation Store, or like, uh, one of the free monthly games. And so, got it. Ready to play it. Heard it's great. One game of the year, right? Didn't it? Ooh, the deflector can explode Zerk's, like, confetti. One point, it is Doc! 1.21 gigawatts! Oh, love it. I'm not sure about that, VB. I, uh, I swear I've done it before where just like you download it and you just add it to your library, or you add it to your library and then you have it and then you can just download it. I mean, I guess probably as long as you have the PlayStation Plus subscription or whatever. Um, but I'll double check that. Because like it's still in my library of games um, ready to download. Nightwalker gives it a stamp of approval. Nice.
Do you have the fuse? Sweet. Nice. You can Dragon Ball Super as well, Ethan. Glad you and your dad are like it as well. Oh, sweet! Oh, what happened? You had your little death ray. Some like killing things, or what you supposed to do now? No, he was doing it from, from up okay. in his balcony. There he is. Gotta lure him out. Oh Here, God. little zerks. Yeah, they are. Bastards. I mean, they learn. Oh, he's not helping you. Doc! Doc, you failed me. Oh, he died nine times. No more lies. Oh, no. I've not heard about the great. Oh, well, she. Dark Deception rings a bell, but I don't know enough about it. I've not had a bee interrupt my photo yet, actually. So is this... I'm, I don't get what the mission is, what we're supposed to do. Well, we were helping him get his defluxer set up, and we've done okay. that. Now I'm just not sure where to go from here. Success. He's so excited. Marty, did you see that? Yeah, so our cat's name's gotta be Marty now. Hmm. Oh, awesome. Now that would be cool. Meow tea. <laughs> well done. Okay. Some votes for Dark Deception. I'm okay keeping the cat's name Steve. Thing. 
Awesome. I can overheat. Okay, yeah, I figured. Alright, a short horror game. That could work for a stream. He just wanted attention, Nightwalker. Or she. No, he said he, so yeah. He just wanted attention. Who is this? Nightwalker's Pomeranian. So he was barking for a while, and all he did was drink from a puddle when he went outside. It's like, that sounds like Bucky. Yep. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. He says that thing needs power. Power it up, baby. That's just it, I don't know where to power it up. Any candles nostalgia you like the most? Oh. Okay, you have to roll the barrel there. Yeah, thanks for the super chat, Terrence. You got past those creepy little slime things. Yay. Candies, okay. Oh, someone saw the eyes and L. I was like, my like, candles nostalgia. nostalgia. I'm like, that was weird, but okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Candies. Uh, what was your go-to candy as a kid? Um, I liked nerds. Phoebe. Favorite candy is a stripper. Uh, and runts, gobstoppers. Um, this is of course assuming that we aren't having chocolate because like chocolate was my go-to before candy. Um, I mean, I like Snickers bar is like a, is a is a candy, right? Are we talking about that? Like, I mean, I'm discounting chocolate. I consider anything, that she's a just separate, anything chocolate. I consider that a separate category. Okay. Well, that's different. That's, then. that's what I'm saying. But I don't know if that was the question. That was just how I interpreted it. So I base my answers accordingly. Hey, Jason, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, Nerds shit. and airheads comes uh, up right away. Shit, shit. No, no. You know you have something to kill us. I know, but they got on me before I had a chance to, to bust it out. Smarties. Yeah. Hey, Neon, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Hi, happy Friday. I'm glad you love the content. Atomic fireball. No, Nightwalker. Reese's cup is not allowed. It's chocolate. Okay, it's gonna overheat. I think something in the like I don't it wasn't my favorite, but it reminds me of uh, childhood is um, fun dip. True Nightwalker, it takes away all the good candy, which is why it's, you know, it's challenging. Big League Chew, that's another nostalgic uh, candy. 
Jedi, same page. I was actually gonna say payday, and then I, I was like, people are gonna make fun of me because I was like, oh, that's not like chocolate or anything fun. But then Bethany said it didn't have to be chocolate, so payday's now cool again. I guess it was well, never cool, but. Just because, like, I consider candy as something separate from chocolates. Like, to me, Snickers is a chocolate, not a candy. That's why they don't, they don't keep any of the, can the chocolates in the candy aisle. Oh, oh, wait. I love you. Whatever. Thanks, Super Chan. See? They agree. Sorry, Foxy's, I don't know if Foxy's on camera, but Foxy's next to me and she's just, Need a little extra love today. I don't know. I don't know if she was feeling okay or whatnot, but like, she was just extra, extra affectionate. So I'm giving her some extra love. I mean, when it comes to like the chocolates in the candy aisle, Reese's were probably my favorite. Um, Snickers is good, Lucky Way was good, but Reese's was sort of always my go-to. Ah, Terrence, thank you for the super chat. Terrence says that uh, our next anime journey after Dragon Ball and Naruto should be Bleach. He was trying to close the door, but I don't know why it's not closing. Why it's taking him so long. Finally, Finally when I die. Oh. Fucking A! I said it, but yeah, spicy this candy is definitely counts. Run around, fucking mission. You were so good at this before, I bet. You got this. Fuck off, this thing. Favorite salty food. Um, like salted cashews. If I'm craving salt, are a really good go-to. Cashews are expensive, so I don't like that they're expensive, but they are a really good option for a salt craving. Um, potato chips are another one. Not my base. <laughs> um, let's see, what other things do I go to when I'm craving? I mean, more often than not, I crave sweets over salt. Um, yeah, I think that right now. Get in. I'm thinking of what's in the cupboard. It's generally cashews, like salted cashews, or some sort of salted nuts. Um, here. Ah, favorite salty food is pickles. Pringles, nice. Ethan, I'm reading a message that says, please read my message. It has not been read. And yeah, Jedi, aren't cashews the best? They're probably like one of the more expensive nuts, which sucks, but they're good. Oh, also almonds. Salted almonds are good. Pistachios are good. Yeah, pistachios are really good. Yes, I was close. We died like 15 times. Get this, Doc. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Jason, if you've got less than eight hours between your shifts, that's... 
What? A, that's a violation. Yeah. For real. That oh. counts as a double, which you should be paid overtime. Well, I, I think it's like a double from the night to the next morning. Which yeah. I think that's, that's, I don't even know if they consider that still a double, but mm. like, you know? Uh, Gavin, I haven't had gushers in ages, but I did, I did enjoy them. Aww. Oh. Yay, they're reunited. What about fruit roll-ups? They still make those things? And fruit by the foot? Do you remember that? Yeah. Eighteen hours for Jason, dude. I mean, we all gotta work, but mm -hmm. you work hard, buddy. For sure. Uh, Thunderbolt, there is a stream on Sunday. <gasps> I have a bag in my head. <laughs> um, there's, we're, we're going back to Oh, this to sucks. Mortal this is Kombat. the worst thing. I wish I didn't do this. <laughs> I think you can shake it off. I did this last stream and I got it off. Yeah. Just shake. How do I shake? Uh, I don't know, but you... Hi. You did it. Hey, Paige. How's it going? Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Okay. Where, where do I go to the boat? This way? Going to the boat. Hey, Momo. Yeah, Vivi. I'm gonna get myself a drink. Anything? Uh, I do, but I'll get it when you come back because it's my tea, and so okay. I know that. Excuse me, motherfucker. He's so sad that you got up. I know. All right, we'll say pause so that Ken can get his drink and then I can get my tea and then then we'll get back to it. Hi, Bucky. Am I, am I an adequate substitute bed? <laughs> uh, Phoebe would like her serving of virgin blood too, please. Okay. Oh, negative is the preference. Gavin, we have not been to Japan. Um, we almost went there for our honeymoon, and it's definitely on our list of places to go to. We very much want to, but we have not made it there yet. Shh, don't growl, Bucky. It's okay. I mean, Ken and I both did doubles in our jobs for quite a while. We were both in hospitality. Um, and so he, he would pull, I think, I think it was 12 hour days. Um, but yeah, I would work a shift at one restaurant, go to another restaurant and work a double. He did doubles as a manager. So basically worked open to close and all the setup for and the Take down after. Um, yes, Vivi. Foxy is carrying the stream. Um, so we know what it's like, but like, it takes a toll on you. Like, I remember how tired I would be after working doubles. So, Jason, I'm amazed by you that you are awake and a functioning human being because I would go home from doubles and pass out so fast. Wait, you were being defiant. What did, what did you defy? <laughs> I think there's more of the story that I must have missed. I, I came in at the middle of it, I'm guessing. Uh, Paige, the, white, the little white guy who's in my lap is Bucky. And then, I don't know if you can see her on camera or not, Foxy is right next to me. Um, so she's the, the little blonde one over here. Bucky's full name is Bucky Barks after the Winter Soldier, because he's all white. Mm. 
Yeah, Nightwalker, for real. There are so many lies that we got told when we were kids. So, so many. Like, oh, just go to college and get a degree and it'll be easy. You'll be able to get a good job. But now it's like, no, now you need master's degrees and stuff. Work hard and you'll get ahead. But it's like, you work hard and just wind up working harder. Like, I, I remember hospitality was one of those things that like, you work hard and it just leads to working harder. <laughs> Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of myths that we were told. Yeah. All right, Bucky, can you go to your desk or I can go get my tea? Come here, Buckaroo. Oh. He did his really adorable little grunting sound when he got in my lap. I'll be right back. Oh, Foxy, okay, she's falling. <laughs> I'll be right back, Foxy. I'll call her see you next Tuesday. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Working the bars on Saturday nights, which is like, we always call it amateur night. Um, it's just, you know, people that don't know how to drink and, and, and be, be drunk proper. Yeah, major student debt as well for school. Oh, nice. Suppy, glad you're enjoying your job. That's a huge win. Foxy. Yeah, Vivi loves you. She wants to see more of you. But she, she's, not a, she's not a ham like Bucky is. Doesn't want, doesn't want that attention. Uh, it's not raining yet. We're supposed to get it tomorrow morning um, for the storm. Graduate, uh, I'll be like, this is the greatest day of my life. Then after graduation, I'll be like, okay, what I got? I'm going to get a degree. Yeah, what are you supposed to do now? That is a question. Really need to think about that. Oh. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. You can go to your mom. Oh, Fabian. So we're waiting for that Mega Man Battle Royale reaction. Yeah, we still need to do that. Um, but hey, I mean, it's weird to say happy to hear that because, you know, like, I mean, really sorry that you went through those, those tough times. Um, but glad that, you know, the channel was a source of uh, light and happiness. So that, like, yeah, that's, that's special to us. That means a lot to us. Um, and we don't take that for granted, and that's why that's one of the reasons we love doing this channel is connecting with people, you know, hanging out with you on the live streams and in the comments and everything, um, and then just being, you know, something people can hopefully enjoy and maybe after work or if they're going through a tough time, just you know, laugh at us being idiots. So, wait a minute, I just looked, I didn't see the context. All I saw was two sevens, part of the chat at Duar of Doom. It's like having herpes. <laughs> I don't know. I was saying, I just looked up at it and I was like, I, I saw the wrong part of the chat. Okay. Excuse me, kids. Come in. Can I, can I get sit down here, Bucky? Oh, Nightwalker. A hundred percent you would get that. For punishments for being defiant when that's just how you talk. All right. Yeah, you're just a straight shooter. All right. Yes, where do you want to be, little Bucky? Make your bed. Okay. He was so cute, he came into the kitchen, and he just put his paws up on me and, like, stretched against me, like, why, why are you, why aren't you here? <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you, are you comfortable now? Great. Ask about student debt in the U.S. Oh, okay. Oh, it sucks. And that's a bold understatement. All right, dude. All right, let's go, buddy. Ah. Uh, nice, Jason. Uh-oh. We're going into the sewers, but... True, baby.
All right, we're in the sewers, floating on rafts. Sweet. With Momo. Momo's basically like our makeshift gondola driver. Oh, Jason, have a safe drive home. Have a um, safe drive home. Ken just made himself a drink and I just made myself tea, so we're probably gonna go until 11.30 because I know it's almost 11 now, so we're not gonna stop immediately. Um, and there's Sunday stream too, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, Vivi. Good for you. No debt and just paid off your second house? Damn. Damn. Bravo. Look who's crushing the adult game. Mm hmm. A lot of jobs you want to apply for back then only needed to graduate high school, which you did, so you didn't need to go to college. Yeah. That's the thing is, you know, I mean, college isn't isn't for everyone. It's not needed to, to have a good career, to have, yeah, to have a, a great life. I mean, it's just one of those things where I'm not using my college degree and what I went, you know, went to school for. I'm not using mine. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could argue that I'm like kind of adjacent to the degree yeah. in a way, but yeah. I mean, if I really wanted a degree for the work I was in, I would have gotten a marketing degree, and instead I have an acting degree. Woohoo! Yeah, psychology, and I was gonna go into getting my master's, and uh... but no. Pulsating. Oh, you're in Grandma's house. Okay, right. nice. Trade school, yeah. Phoebe says she can borrow her marketing degree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jedi Knight. They're, they're, uh, we just read, we just watched um, John Oliver's show, and he was talking about that too, like how a lot of jobs that where, like, 85% of the people, um, yeah, just had to go there. Well, I think I have to, oh, okay. to get up there to let him in, I think, because there's just nowhere else to go. They said that uh, they were looking at this one job, but I can't remember which one, one it was, administrative assistant or something like that. Um, and like 85% of the people in that job currently do not have a, co a college degree. And But now like all the new job postings require a bachelor's degree. Yeah, so um, basically they're saying anybody who's currently working in the field who didn't get their degree doesn't qualify for the jobs now. That they currently have. Yeah. So like they can't leave their job because they wouldn't qualify for the next job. And they say one of the best ways to increase your salary is to change jobs because you will be mm -hmm. more likely to negotiate a higher salary going from job to job than you will get a raise in your current position. So like when you think about it, anybody who's an administrative assistant is set up to never get the full potential salary that they would be due because they can't leave their job and negotiate higher. Yeah, and in one sense, it's easier to go from high school to college just because you're already kind of used to, like, schoolwork and getting into that into that zone. Um, but there's a lot to be said for, like, going out and just trying to, like, kind of figure out exactly what you definitely what you want to do. And that's not to say you have to... I mean, people, I guess, now change their jobs a lot more than, you know, back in the day, like... People change their jobs, I don't know, three or four times, I think they said the average is now. there was a thing they were talking about I can't remember the news they were talking about like how um, women are becoming a lot more present in the field of plumbing and like 
manual labor jobs that used to be reserved almost exclusively for men are considered like man's work. Women are going into it because that kind of certificate-based skill job is actually becoming more lucrative than the cost of going to college, getting student debt, and then trying to go for masters and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but in one sense, it's very, I mean, social media now and, and that kind of stuff is also got a lot of people doing it and, and, and trying it. And so um, it's also a grind and a hustle and, a, you know, no guarantee. But I, mean, I guess you won't be as much in debt as you go to college and whatnot, but... Is that as like a content creator that we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, well, Dwight was saying, I mean, in the era of social media and stuff, I think you don't need to go to college in order to earn money. Mm. If you're successful, you're good to go. Well, and it also depends on what your uh, definition of success is. Yep. Which is important, which is another thing you gotta, you gotta figure out. Have you ever tried being born into wealth? I hear that's a great way to get money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't win that lottery. Because you know, I think a lot of times people equate wealth with success, but there's also a lot of unhappy rich people. A lot of unhappy rich people. <laughs> Engineering, yeah, special specific trades for sure. Yeah, I think I think at some point when we're gonna play Baldur's Gate 3, it's just you know, it's we know it's gonna be a big time investment. Oh, I see what you It's doing the same thing with that and like uh, Witcher 3 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, Nightwalker, it's something where, like, uh, I mean, when we started out, uh, you know, I just went full-time, like, recently, like, last year or whatever, maybe the year before, um, but, like, Bethany and I had full-time jobs when we were doing this and wasn't anything that we thought was going to be, uh, like, a big moneymaker or that we quit our jobs or, any, or, or whatnot. We just kind of did it just to have fun and kind of, you know, be creative, um, and, and it's just, it's just dumb luck, really. You never know what's gonna hit, so like, to just rely on that is, is definitely a, a gamble. It's something where you do it while you have a job, and then cool if it, it's, I mean, it takes a lot of work, you know, you're, cause you gotta work your normal 40 to 50 hour, or 60 hour work week, depending on, you know, how much your job uh, takes up and then work another 40 hours. My best advice would be if you're not somebody who's blessed enough to know exactly what they want to do and have the means to like pursue that, adaptability is great. Yeah, like, true. Trying, try a bunch of stuff, see what sticks. Increased less than standardized testing in 32 Boston schools, zero. Could do basic math at their grade level. Ooh. Wait, what is this? Uh, last year in standardized testing in 32 Boston schools, zero could do basic math at their grade level. Holy hell, that is quite alarming. Oh, are you kidding? I haven't me? seen the Marmaduke movie or the B movie. Uh, we do have Paramount Plus. Yes, Phoebe. Thanks, Seppi. Yeah, um, I mean, part of it is just liking what we do. That's able to, uh, we're able to keep up with it. Um, and then there being two of us is also super helpful. Oh. Fuck. 
like me. Favorite Mortal Kombat character? Pages is Katana. Uh, I mean, it changes as the, as the games uh, update uh, and also as we play them and start to like a character and start to main that character. Uh, Raiden's always been a, I've always been a big fan of Raiden. Scorpion. Shit. I think it's better to have the stream on YouTuber stuff as a side gig, yeah. Exactly. Started as out as a side side hustle. Yeah, and that's why it's tough, Jason. Um, find the time to just get started, which I think you know, <clears throat> it's trying to find whatever time you can in in, in the day, um, figuring out what you want to do first of all, uh, as far as content creation or just like you want like a stream, and then just realizing that not thinking of it as this is going to get me like you know out of my day job or uh, this is going to be something that you know ends up being my yeah ends up being my career and just kind of like think about what you want to do to have fun and then go for it and then if it takes off and you know people like it and then great i mean remember when we first started it's like okay cool hey we can pay like our uh like trash bill or whatever this month, it's like 25 bucks, sweet. Like, hey, it's something, you know? Yep. Literally anything that I've gone after as a career or that I thought was gonna like make me money is the stuff I was the worst at or made me the least. It was the stuff that yeah. I was like, I'll try this or sure, I'll take this side gig. I could use a little extra money. Like it was the stuff that I never thought was a big deal that wound up becoming the things in my life that carved out a career path. Okay, where do I need to go? Honestly, I don't know, because I was just running and dying. Okay. I mean, you open the thing, so I think you want to make your way back out that way, I think, but... I don't know. I know that this is a world I would absolutely die in right away. That much better. <laughs> I do not do well with the Zerks. It's like the floof. Didn't. The floof! But at least when, I'm, when I was against the floof, I had like a big gun that didn't overheat in one, 1. 1.5 seconds. What the fuck? Yeah, their eyes. And there were a lot of floof in there too, because that's where I died. Jason, no, actually, um. Um, we were both in the restaurants when COVID hit. Yep. So that was, that was, um. Fix me, we both lost our jobs. We're like, <laughs> Awesome. This is fantastic. Um, so then of course we're like, so from now on we need to not be in the same industry. And yet now we're both in social media. So. Yeah. Because um, Bethany's day job is she works uh, on Instagram. Yeah, I work for a company that manages account manages people's accounts for Instagram. Um, so Ken works our channel in, in YouTube, and I work for the company with Instagram. Um, and so we are now back into the same industry. But um, so when social media collapses, yeah, we're gonna be screwed again. Well. I mean, so not being funny, I think our generation has now lived through, what, two depressions and a pandemic? Like, recessions, two recessions. Recessions, sorry, that's what I meant, recessions. And a pandemic, so at this point, like, there is no stable path, there's no Can guarantee for the future, there's no, there's no none of that nonsense. So it's like, you gotta do your best to... Can I get in there? 
make the most of what you have and, and you know, it's not like when our parents and grandparents were growing up. It's, it's a different ball of wax now. Oh my god, Vivi, I almost just did a spit take on that. Vivi says, Beth, but make an Instagram account that's just weekly pictures of post-up buttholes. Can I hire you to manage it? <laughs> um, transparently, you don't want me to manage it. I'm actually the person who designs, like, the operational development in the company and the systems and stuff and the workflows rather than the hands-on management of the account. I, I don't know how to do that very well. Um, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't hire me. <laughs> <laughs> right super chan and then on top of everything all the other generations are constantly crapping on us millennials it's like hey it has not been a walk in the park for us Pack that shit. Are things gonna come out at me. <laughs> if Bucky had an IG account. Oh boy. Yeah. That that could be something. I mean there's a there are a lot of dog accounts out there right now. Um but Bucky is a bit of a character, that's for sure. What what happened? What did, what did that do? Oh, you're in a different spot. Yeah, heck, that thing. I didn't do shit. I thought I was gonna open that door. I did not. I think you have to. You, I think you have to jump the cans to. Oh fuck that It's like shit. oozing, oozing the things at us. That's gross. Um. Jason, there are some fascinating books on psychology and stuff, though, if, if you're interested in the subject, but aren't going to school for it. I mean, I realize it's not going to help you, like, get a job in the industry or anything, but, like, if you are just interested in psychology in general, there are some really good books. Um, one of them is called Influence, which is very relevant to sort of the world we're living in now with social media, but it basically talks about um, the psychology behind influence, which was fascinating to read. Nightwalker says there's another one on the other side. I think I can yep. navigate. So I was like, I'm like, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get on this side now. Maybe little spooky things. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off me, bro. true in psychology Ken would know more than I, I would but um, for a lot of medical fields there are professions in which you don't have to have the full like master's degree in the in it um, like for example physical therapy like if you want to be a physical therapist you have to go and get a doctorate and become you know certified and, and licensed for that medicine but you can be a physical therapy technician, which does not require that extensive school training. So there might be options in there, Jason, um, when you're not working 20 hours a day, six days a week. Weird most psycho most <laughs> for most psychology, uh, you have to get like at least a master's um, to advance in the field. You might be able to, with a bachelor's, be like a, like a social worker or a school counselor. Um, you know, obviously anything where you are. Um, there's also like, you have to do a lot of hours logging in for like therapy training. Um, so yeah, there's a, I mean, it's, 
There's a lot that goes into it. Which at the time when I got into it, I thought, oh yeah, I'll want to do all that. <laughs> but no. Actually, as we were doing the YouTube channel and uh, I was looking into becoming a genetic counselor and switching over to that from the restaurants. Help us. Yeah. Come on, Come on, He's gonna right overheat. No! Oh shit, okay. This is gonna be fun. Phoebe would like you to psychoanalyze her. She would like you to shrink her. Go. <laughs> I, I can't. I mean, <laughs> that's a question that has plagued psychologists and psychiatrists <laughs> for generations. First of all, why would anybody hate someone with big boobs? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Because we all know big boobs are awesome. Right? Unless they're your own boobs, because I mean, then just you saying, just... the the girls are not always light. Yeah, and you know, and so you know your boobs. I would hope so. Yeah, exactly. But oh, run, 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 run faster, run faster. You just say, I mean, like, the easy psycho uh, psychological answer is you're projecting. Just be you're projecting. <laughs> yeah, he's alive. Nine pounds each, damn. Phoebe. <laughs> Your poor back. They're seriously nine pounds each? Damn. Jesse, what the fuck did I walk in on? <laughs> <laughs> These are things that happen late at night. I'm definitely not definitive. Kitty. 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 There's a kitty. I'm sorry, Bucky. Hey! <laughs> Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Ant Village. This is not a conversation I thought I would be listening to at 2 a.m. at work <laughs> on Saturday morning, but I'm here for it. EDS, is that the, like, the loose joints? No, it's having music. <laughs> he was the scientist! Well, that sucks. They shouldn't hold that against you. I wouldn't think those two things would be related. And if anything, being reduced might actually help your joints, I would think. Do I, there is a boob reduction surgery, but it's illegal. It is. And that's what we call a man's wishful thinking. <laughs> Come on, 
You have to pass a lot, of, a lot of psychological tests in order to get one. Get oddly none to get them enlarged. <laughs> nope, nope. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Happy, uh, what time is it? Happy what time is it? Happy, Happy what time is it? Happy Saturday, unless you happen to be on the west coast of the U.S. with us, in which case then, happy Friday still. <laughs> I mean, guys, he's a cat. What do you expect? Oh, man. Cats are dicks. Yeah. You're welcome. Worth it. <laughs> Uh, Jesse, I had a smart answer to your question in my head, and then it went right out as I was watching the cat. What was the question? What year is it? Oh, okay. And I was going to make some smart ass comment in reference to like the impending end of the world, mm. and it just went out of my head. I no longer had the flow of the words to make it any good. Good girl, Foxy. Good girl. Best girl. Oh, 2-7 says you might want to stop here. Oh, okay. Because um, the, I guess the next part has a ton of talking and moving stuff around. Ah, uh, all right. That sounds good. Good place to stop. Vivi, that makes no sense. But that totally sounds like something an insurance company would say. What? So her insurance won't cover her reduction surgery? Because they claim since she already has back pain, getting her boobs oh, okay, surgery yeah, yeah. It's a pre would be cosmetic instead of an actual like medical surgery. Yep. No, I don't want to see you yet. Oh, okay, Nick. So you're like way ahead of us in time anyway. If you're in Australia, so yeah, happy Saturday. Oh, door! Don't you dare say it's 2020 again. Hell to the no. Uh oh. Is that our robot making that noise or is the cat making the weirdest cat sound I've ever heard? Oh, look at them. They're still trying to clean up after what you did. Yep. You're going to drop down on them, aren't you? <laughs> okay. As much fun as being a dick is in this game as a cat. All right, so we will call it there. Um, and yeah, this Sunday we'll be back for some Mortal Kombat uh, invasion mode. And hope you all have a good weekend. Next weekend, I think we should be able to finish up uh, Stray because we'll be off the following uh, Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll be off that. Yeah. We'll be off the. F no, yes, because next weekend we'll finish. We're probably off next Sunday, or a week from this Sunday because it's Easter, and then, but yeah, anyways. The important thing is this Sunday at 1 p.m. We're doing a uh, Mortal Kombat Invasion mode. That is the important thing. Yeah. Have our MK Margaritas. You should join us. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for hanging out with us, and hopefully we'll see you on Sunday. Uh, Jason, to your question about why Foxy is named Foxy, I don't know, but she looks like a fox, and she's perfect. We, she came to us with that name. Um, we didn't yeah. name her. She was a foster, um, and then Bethany fell in love with her like right away. I was like, we're, yeah. we're gonna keep her. Yeah. I started- Who could have seen that coming? I started my campaign to keep Foxy on like day one, but I was like, I couldn't ask to keep Foxy on day one. So I just started to do like that, that subtle wifely thing of like little nudges and hints until mm -hmm. like by the third day, I was like, so we're gonna keep her, right? <laughs> She's perfect. She's the best girl. She's great. Yeah. All right, everyone. Have a great start to your weekend, and hopefully we will see you all on Sunday. <laughs>